Today I'm going to take you through a prep class for Galavasana, which we'll do in the next video I post. Uh, so this class is all about opening up the hips. So when you're ready, go ahead and find your comfortable seat at the top of the mat. Take your inhale to bring your hands to heart center. And exhale to draw the shoulders back down and away. Again, inhale, shoulders rise. Exhale, release them down. One more inhale, shoulders lift up. Exhale to roll them back down and away. Take the time now to set your intention or maybe a dedication for your practice. If you didn't come with one already, I offer up the intention of using the breath to deepen the postures and finding balance within the hips. We'll seal up all these intentions with three breaths. First, exhale all the air from your lungs. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, release. Again, inhale, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Last one, inhale, fill up. Exhale, send it out. You may begin to blink your eyes open, first gazing toward your fingertips, and then roll forward onto hands and knees, come to your tabletop position. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, ground down through the tops of the feet, root down through all 10 fingers. As you inhale, lift your chest and tail, rotating your biceps toward the sky for your cow spine. And then exhale, round and curl, cat pose, navel up, back rounds. Full inhale to cow pose, release the shoulders. Full exhale to cat pose, keep the shoulders away from the ears. Take another inhale, lift the chest and tail, broaden out through the collarbones. And then as you exhale, suck the navel in and up, cat spine. Take one more inhale to cow pose. Then as you exhale, tuck the toes, pike the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Maybe bend through the right knee, and then bend through the left knee. Pedal through the feet nice and slowly, not too fast. Settle into your down dog with your hands shoulder width and your feet hips distance. If you're trying to challenge yourself here and your heels are touching the ground, maybe step your feet a half a footprint away from you. Stretch out the calves even more. If your heels don't touch the ground yet, no worries. Maybe bend the knees and reach the hips toward the sky. Work on stretching the backs of the hips, the glutes. On your next inhale, roll forward like a wave to high plank. Then as you exhale, bend the knees, scoop the hips up and back, continuing to warm up the spine. Again, inhale, roll forward high plank. Exhale, bend knees, scoop hips up and back, down dog. Last one, inhale, roll forward high plank. Exhale, bend knees, scoop hips up and back, downward facing dog. This time, inhale, roll forward to high plank. As you exhale, drop the knees, keep the hips lifted, lower the chest and chin, knees, chest, chin. Inhale to slide to the belly, peel up your head, neck, and chest for baby cobra. Little to no weight in the hands. Squeeze the elbows in for three. Breathe full, two. And one, press through the palms, but keep a slight bend in the elbows. Find your full cobra. Inhale. And then exhale, lower it down. Press yourself up through tabletop to downward facing dog. That's your knees down version of Chaturanga. If you'd like to advance, go ahead and inhale, roll forward to your high plank pose. This time as you exhale, shift your weight forward into your toes, bringing the shoulder heads over the fingertips. Then draw a 90 degree angle into the elbows, squeeze them into the body and hold your low plank Chaturanga for three. Keep holding two. In one, press the chest through the arms, find your upward facing dog. Engage the abdominals so much that the thighs lift. Gaze reaches high. And then exhale to pike the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Gaze forward, knees bend. Take small steps toward your hands. On your inhale, look up halfway, lengthen, press palms into thighs, shins, or the floor if you can get a flat back there. Option for blocks under the palms. Exhale, fold deeper. It's okay to bend the knees here. Use the abdominals to draw your low belly to your thighs. Again, inhale, halfway lift, fine length. And then exhale, fold deeply. Inhale, arms rise, reach up, mountain pose, gaze to thumbs. Exhale, the hands by the side, samastiti. Surya namaskare, sun salutation say. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale to upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog. Release the shoulders for three. Keep breathing, two. One, gaze forward, knees bend, walk, hop, or float forward. Take your inhale to look up, lengthen, and then exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise, reach up, gaze to thumbs. Exhale, the hands by the sides. Again, inhale, arms rise, exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant palms, step or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Full inhale to upward facing dog or cobra. Full exhale to downward facing dog. For four, release shoulders. Three, keep breathing. Two, biceps high. One, gaze forward, knees bend. Walk, step, or float forward. Take your inhale to look up, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise. Reach up, gaze to thumbs. Exhale, hands by sides. Last time, inhale, arms rise, exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, plant palms, step or float back, hips lift, feet shoot back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Full inhale to upward facing dog or cobra. Full exhale to downward facing dog for five. Think inner thighs to the sky, four. Hips move back and away from you, three. Chest presses toward the thighs. Two. One. Gaze forward, knees bend, walk, step, or float to the top. Take your inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise, gaze to thumbs. Exhale, hands by sides. Surya Namaskar B, Sun Salutations B. Knees bend, arms rise, Ukatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Full inhale to up dog or cobra. Full exhale to downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward to the right thumb. Left heel spins down. Inhale up to warrior one. Exhale, plant the palm, step or handstand back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Full inhale to up dog or cobra. Full exhale to downward facing dog. Left foot to left thumb, right heel spins down, rise up warrior one. Exhale, plant the palms, step or handstand back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Full inhale to up dog or cobra. Full exhale to downward facing dog for three. Navel back, two. Scrub hands toward feet and feet toward hands, one. Gaze forward, knees bend, walk, step, or float to the top. Take your inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, knees bend, arms rise, Utkatasana. Exhale, hands by sides. Last time, inhale, knees bend, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale to up dog or cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog. Right foot forward, warrior one, inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale to up dog or cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog. Left foot forward, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale to up dog or cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog for five. This is your last held down dog. Four. Maybe you can straighten the knees. Three. Draw the heels down toward the mat. Two. Engage the arches of the feet. One. Gaze forward, knees bend, walk, step, or float to the top. Take your inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Knees bend, arms rise, chair pose, and hold for five. Rock the hips under, four, squeeze the legs together, three, keep the seat low, chest high, two, stay low, and one, exhale the hands to heart center, twist to the right, left elbow crosses right thigh, 
gaze over the right shoulder. Peek down and make sure the left knee doesn't cross the right and hold for five. Breathe full four. Sink lower, three. Think chest higher than the hips, two. In one, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale back to center, straighten the legs, reach up. Exhale, reach forward, lift the left leg, warrior three. Hold for five. If you need to bring the hands to heart center, you can. Four, broaden out through the collarbones. Three, engage the right leg. Two, engage the left leg. In one, ground the left toes at the back of the mat. Ground the fingertips on either side of your right leg for equestrian pose. Often here to use blocks under your palms to help lift your chest and bring some more space in the hips. Wherever you are, really work to find a nice, long, low stance here. If you need to bend into the back knee, you can. Really find a stretch in the left hip flexor as you reach your chest high. Hold here for three. Keep breathing. Two. In one, begin to straighten out that front leg for pyramid pose. You may have to adjust the back foot. Once you've adjusted that back foot, keep your feet exactly where you are for this series. You can walk your fingertips behind you or keep them on blocks. Your feet are like are on like are like they're on railroad tracks here. They're parallel to one another. Both sets of toes face that short edge of your mat. Make sure your stance is long enough here that you can transition back into equestrian pose, but not so long that you can't make pyramid pose happen. Your front leg should, leg should be completely straight here. Your back heel can be slightly lifted off the mat or it can be flat. Wherever you are, think about reaching that right hip toward the sky. Hold for another three. Keep breathing. Two. One, take your next inhale to find your equestrian pose, bend into right knee, lift the chest. And then as you exhale, straighten out the front leg, fold pyramid pose. Inhale to equestrian pose, chest lifts, gaze lifts. Exhale, round and curl over the right leg, straighten it out. One more, inhale to equestrian pose. And exhale to pyramid. This time, inhale to your equestrian pose. And exhale to Chaturanga Dandasana. Full inhale to Up Dog or Cobra. Full exhale to Downward Facing Dog. Gaze forward, knees bend, walk, step, jump or float to the top. Take your inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Knees bend, arms rise, chair pose, gaze to thumbs. Hold for five. Release shoulders. Four, navel back. Three, hips rock under. Two, in one, exhale the hands to heart center, twist to the left, right elbow crosses left thigh. Be mindful the right knee doesn't cross the left, sink the hips low here for five. Hips stay pointing toward the front of the room, chest twist. Three, gaze over left shoulder. Two, one, inhale, reach up, stand up, Tadasana. Exhale, reach forward, lift the right leg, warrior three for five. Square hips and shoulders, four, engage the back inner thigh, three, flex the right foot, two, in one, tap the right toes to the back of the mat, nice long stance for your equestrian pose. Fingertips can come to blocks or to the floor. If you need to bend that back knee slightly, you can work on rolling the hips forward and up, really find that hip flexor stretch here. Hold for another three. You know where we're going this time. Two. In one, begin to straighten out the left leg. Option to keep your hands on those blocks here. You may have to adjust that back foot in. Find your pyramid pose. Again, your feet are parallel to one another. Your back heel can be flat or slightly lifted. Work to draw your forehead toward your shin. Hold for another four. Release the shoulders for three. Engage the abdominals to draw yourself deeper. Two, engage the left quad to strengthen and straighten that left leg even more. Two, 
in one, inhale to rock forward, bend into the left leg, lift the chest for equestrian pose, and then exhale to rock back, straighten out left leg. Inhale to equestrian pose, chestless gaze lifts. Exhale, pyramid pose, round and curl. One more, inhale to equestrian pose, and exhale to pyramid. Inhale to equestrian pose, and exhale to Chaturanga Dandasana. Full inhale to up dog or cobra. Full exhale to downward facing dog. Take a full inhale and a full exhale. Then step your right foot forward between your hands. Spin your left heel all the way down and unwind to warrior two. Hips sink low. Right knee is bent close to a 90 degree angle. Square up hips and shoulders and ground through the feet for five. Think about scrubbing the heels toward one another. Four, engage the inner thighs. Three, press the air away from your arms. Two, and one. Exhale to straighten out your front leg. Maybe toe heel the back foot in one to two footprints. Then cock the hips to the back of the room as you tip your torso forward. Chikanasana, triangle pose. Bottom hand comes to bottom leg or big toe. Top arm goes to the sky. Gaze that top thumb for five. Step into the back foot. Four. Hips rock forward. Three. Chest rotates toward the sky. Two. In one. Inhale to lift up. Reverse triangle. Send your left hand down left leg. Right arm overhead. Right leg stays straight. Transition to half moon pose. Cartwheel the right hand down in front of the right foot. Lift the left leg high. Find that Ardha Chakrasana. Chandrasana here. Square up hips and shoulders. Stack the hips and gaze to your top thumb for an added balance challenge for five. This is all obliques. Four. Breathe full. Three. Do your best. Two. In one, gently tap the left foot down. Reverse your warrior, this time with a bend in the front knee. Top arm overhead. Cartwheel the hands down to the mat. Chaturanga Dandasana. Full inhale to up dog or cobra. Full exhale to downward facing dog for the other side. Left foot forward, right heel drops, unwind warrior two. Hold for five. Think about drawing the armpits down toward the mat. Four, lift the crown of the head higher. Three, sink the hips lower. Two. One, straighten out left leg. Cock the hips to the back of the room as you tip your torso forward. Find your trikonasana triangle pose. Gaze to top thumb for five. Notice the similarities between Trikonasana and Ardha Chandrasana. Three. Keep breathing. Two. Long spine. One. Take your inhale to lift up and exhale to reverse your triangle. Straight legs this time. Then transition to half moon. Ardha Chandrasana. Cartwheel the left hand down. Lift the right leg up. Hold for five. Engage the obliques. Four. Gaze to the top thumb for a challenge. Three, it's okay if you fall. Two. One, gently tap the right foot down. Reverse your warrior, this time with a bend in the front knee. Cartwheel those hands down to the mat, Chaturanga Dandasana. Full inhale to up dog or cobra. Full exhale to downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward between your hands and drop your left knee. Inhale the arms overhead to your kneeling crescent lunge. Do whatever you need to do in this pose to set up your stance. Being mindful the right knee stays over the right foot. Options are always there to place something underneath that back knee if you need to. Work the hips forward and up for five. Engage the left glute for four. Breathe full. Three. Think about lifting the chest toward the sky. Two. Lock in the rib cage here. Two, in one, draw the hands down, straighten out the right leg, find your half splits. Hold for three. Think about lifting the right hip toward the sky. Two, in one, inhale back up to kneeling crescent, and then exhale for your half splits. Inhale up to kneeling crescent, exhale half splits. Inhale up to kneeling crescent. Exhale, half splits. 
Inhale up to kneeling crescent. Listen for the change. Exhale the hands to heart center. Twist to the right. Left elbow crosses left thigh for revolve kneeling crescent. Hold here for five. Breathe full for four. Gaze over right shoulder for three. Two. In one, stay twisted. Tuck the back toes under and then lift up through your high crescent lunge to warrior two, dropping that left heel down. Settle into your warrior two in the inhale. And then as you exhale, find your extended side angle. Bring your right forearm to your thigh. Twist the chest toward the sky and gaze to the inner part of your left palm. Option to sink the hips even lower and bring your hand to a block on the outside of the right foot or to your fingertips on the outside of your right foot. Hold for five. If there's any tension in the back of your neck, come up higher. Four. Keep breathing. Three. Two. One. Take your inhale to lift up through warrior two. Exhale, hands to hips, straighten out your front leg. Turn the toes in and the heels out. As you inhale, lift the chest. As you exhale, find your wide leg forward fold. Hold for five. Keep breathing. Four. Do your best. Three. Hips higher. Two. One. Exhale the hands down. Take your inhale to look up, lengthen. And then exhale. Slowly rise up. Find your warrior two. Cartwheel those hands down to the mat. Chaturanga Dandasana. Full inhale to up dog or cobra. Full exhale to downward facing dog. Left foot forward, right knee drops, kneeling crescent lunge. Do whatever you need to do to set up for your kneeling crescent. Hold for five. Hips forward and up for four. Engage the right glute even more. Three. Stretch the right hip flexor. Two. One. Exhale the hands down, maybe to block. Straighten out the left leg, balancing on that left heel for your half splits for three. Think chest forward. Two, try to stretch the midsection of the muscle. One, take your inhale to lift up to kneeling crescent and then exhale to half splits. Again, inhale kneeling crescent, lift up through the chest. Exhale half splits. One more, inhale lift up kneeling crescent lunge. Exhale half splits. Inhale to lift up, listen for the change. Exhale the hands to heart center, twist to the left, right elbow crosses left thigh. Find your revolved kneeling crescent for five. Gaze over left shoulder, four. Keep the back leg engaged, three. You know where we're going this time, two. In one, stay twisted, tuck the back toes, lift up, come through your high crescent lunge and then drop your back heel for warrior two. Take your inhale in warrior two. And then as you exhale, find your extended side angle, left forearm, left thigh, or left hand outside the foot. Twist the chest toward the sky and then gaze to your inner right palm. Hold for five. Find length in both side bodies. Four, any tension in the neck and work to drop the hips lower so lift the chest higher than the hips. Three, keep breathing. Two, One, inhale up through warrior two. Exhale, hands to hips. Turn the toes in and the heels out. As you inhale, lift the chest. As you exhale, fold forward with the hands on the hips. Hold for five. Keep breathing, four. Squeeze the elbows back, three. Long spine, two. One, inhale, lift all the way up to warrior two. And then exhale, cartwheel the hands down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Full inhale to up dog or cobra. Full exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward high plank. Exhale, shift weight into the right palm. Come into your side plank. Roll onto the knife side edge of the right foot and try to stack the feet so it's like you're standing on the floor. Then lift your rib cage higher and maybe gaze to your top thumb for a balance challenge. If you'd like to lift the top leg, you can. And if it's in your practice and you're able to, you can actually take hold of your left big toe for a <clears throat> side plank with big toe hold. Hold for five. Do your best. Four. 
three, keep breathing, two, in one, guide the left foot forward, find your lizard pose here, hands can be on blocks, forearms can be on blocks, you can drop your back knee, wherever you are, just be mindful the left knee does not cross the toes. And try to find a long spine here. The tendency when we're trying to drop deeper is for the spine to round like cat pose. Think about a cow spine here. You'll end up bringing a flat back into your spine. Hold for five. Engage every muscle in the back leg. Four. Engage the abdominals. Three. Gaze out on the floor in front of you. Two. In one, come back to palms. Ditch those blocks. And go ahead and toe heel the left foot toward the right side of your mat. We're going to come into a pigeon pose here, a half pigeon pose. So keep your hips and shoulders stacked. Bring your left foot out in front of you. The goal is to bring it as close to 90 degrees as possible. So as close to parallel to that short edge of your mat. That's inaccessible to most people and that's fine. Uh, just as long as you're not actually resting on the front of your shin and the front of your knee. Option here to place a block underneath your hip to help square those hips forward. That'll actually help stretch your right hip flexor even more. Um, so option to place that there. You can also place a blanket under your hips. If you are resting on the front of the shin or the knee, just come to a reclined figure four stretch. By rolling onto your back, planting your right foot into the mat with a bent right knee, and bringing the left ankle across the right thigh. You can then increase or decrease the intensity by drawing the right thigh toward your chest, but try to keep your head, neck, and chest grounded. If you're in that pigeon pose with the left leg out in front, place both hands on your hips and try to square them forward. Then go ahead and sit up tall, maybe planting the fingertips beside you, maybe placing one hand on your right ankle and the other on your left thigh. Breathe here for five, keeping the Shoulders over the hips for four. Remember your back leg is in splits pose here. Three. This is a back bend. If you look at the spine, the tailbone is slightly turned out. Three. Two. In one, press through the palms and shoot the left leg back, finding your downward facing dog. No sleeping pigeon this time. On your next inhale, roll forward to your high plank pose for the other side. And as you exhale, root down through your left palm. Come to the knife side edge of the left foot and find your side plank on the other side. Take whatever variation you took. If you took a knee or a forearm before, do so now. If you took the leg raise with the right leg, you can do so on this side. And if you took big toe hold, go ahead and try it out. Hold for five. Do your best. Four. Three, rib cage reaches higher. Two. One, step or guide that right foot forward. Coming to your lizard pose, you can be on palms. You can be on forearms. You can use those blocks however you'd like. Just be mindful the right knee doesn't cross the toes for five. Long spine, gaze out on the floor in front of you. Four, root through the back foot. Three. Two. One, wherever you are, go ahead and come back to palms. This time, toe heel the right foot toward the left edge of your mat, coming into that pigeon pose, half pigeon pose, drawing the shin as close to parallel as you can, and lifting the hips. Again, you can place a block under your hips or a blanket to help even them out. Or if you need to come into that reclined figure four stretch, this time your left knee will be bent and your right ankle will be across your left thigh. If you're in that half pigeon pose, square up here, place both hands on the hips, lift the chest, and then maybe bring the fingertips down beside you, or you can place one hand on your left ankle and the other on your right thigh. Hold here for five. Remember the back leg is in splits pose. Four. Really find a rocking under of the hips. Three. Do your best to stretch the back hip flexor as much as the outer right hip. Two. And one, root through the palms, shoot the right leg back, find your downward facing dog. Full inhale, 
full exhale. Right foot forward, left heel drops at a 45 degree angle, rise up to your warrior one on the right. Take a full inhale in warrior one, and then exhale the hands to the hips. Keep the hands on the hips today. Take your inhale to lift the chest, and then exhale, fold forward with a flat back for intense side stretch. Hold here for five, gaze to big toe, four. Eventually the chin touches the shin, three. Keep a long spine, two. And one, take your inhale to look up, lengthen. Exhale, draw your left hand to the outside of your right foot, maybe onto a block. Keep that right hand on the hip for now. And go ahead and twist open for revolved triangle. Draw the right hip down toward the mat with that right hand before lifting it up toward the sky. Think about keeping the hips rotating down while twisting the chest open toward the side. For five, keep breathing. Four, do your best. Three, two, and one. Come to stand for revolve reverse triangle. Inhale the left hand overhead and the right hand down left thigh. And then as you exhale, come to standing on your right leg, bringing the left knee into the chest. We're going to take big toe hold. So you can hold on to that outer edge of the left knee. Or if you'd like to take hold of the big left toe with your index and middle finger, you can. You can work with a bent leg or you can begin to straighten it. Wherever you are, hold for five. Do your best. Four. Engage the top of the quad. Three. Navel back. Two. In one, left leg goes left, gaze goes right. Hold for five. Listen for the change in four. Keep the left leg or knee out to the left in three. Hold to the side in two. In one, release the toe, release the knee. Hold that foot out to the side for five. Quick count, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring the leg back to center. We're going to take a figure four stretch here. So go ahead and cross the left ankle across the right thigh like a figure four. If you're looking to advance this and you'd like to take half lotus instead, you'll bring the top of the left foot as close to the right hip crease as you can. Left knee points down. For the full posture, the left hand wraps around the low back and catches the left big toe. If that's too much for you, you can just simply work toward that bind and keep a hold of the right foot. If you're coming into the figure four stretch, go ahead and draw the left ankle down so it's just above the right knee in line with the left knee and begin to sink the hips back. Bring the hands to the hips and keep those hips even. The tendency here is to drop the left hip lower than the right. Try to keep it high and in line with that right hip as you sink down low. Hold here, or if you're in half lotus, you can fold to the floor for five. Breathe full, four. Do your best, three, two, and one, wherever you are, take your inhale to lift up. Exhale, plant the left foot next to the right. Bring the hands to the hips. Take your inhale to lift the chest. And then exhale for Padakushtasana. Using index and middle fingers, wrap the fingers around the two big toes. Take your inhale to lift the chest. And then exhale, fold deeper for five. Release the shoulders. Four. Notice how this posture is different when you do it toward the end of class. Three, keep breathing. Two, in one, take your inhale to look up, lengthen. Exhale, plant the palms, draw the knees to the upper arms and find your crow pose for five. Keep breathing, four, do your best. Three, two, one, step or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Full inhale to up dog or cobra. Full exhale to downward facing dog. Left foot forward, right heel drops, rise up to warrior one on the inhale. As you exhale, bring the hands to the hips. 
Take your inhale to lift the chest and then exhale, fold and 10 side stretch on the left. Both legs are straight here. Left leg should be straight. I may have forgotten to mention that. Think chin to shin for five. Breathe full, four. Root down through the back heel. Think about squeezing the legs together. Three. Two. One. Take your inhale to look up halfway. Exhale the right hand out in front of you. Draw that hand to the outside of the left foot, maybe onto a block, and keep the left hand on the hip. Draw the left hip down as you twist the chest open toward the side of the room. Then send the left fingertips to the sky for a revolved triangle for five. Keep breathing. Four. Do your best. Three. Relax the neck. Two. In one, inhale up to stand for revolved reverse triangle. This time the right hand goes overhead, left hand goes down right leg. Take your exhale here and then inhale, stand on the left foot, bring the right knee into the chest for big toe hold. You can take a hold of the knee or the big toe with the index and middle finger. Work with a bent or straight leg, hold for five. Breathe full, four. Draw the chest a little forward, three. Maybe you can straighten the standing leg, two. One, right leg goes to the right, gaze goes left, hold for five. Do your best, four. Three. Two, one, release the toe, release the knee, keep the foot out to the side, straighten it as much as you can and hold for five. Breathe full, four, do your best, three, two, one, bring the knee back into the chest. We're gonna take that figure four or half lotus pose. If you're going for figure four, draw the right ankle just above the left knee, keep it in line with the right knee. And then begin to sink back into a chair leg on the left side, keeping the right hip in line with the left and hold here. If you're going for that lotus pose, bring the top of the right foot as close to the left hip crease as you can, then reach around the low back for that toe. Option to keep hold of that foot with the other hand and further option to fold. Wherever you are, hold for five. Breathe full, four. Do your best, three. Two, one, inhale, stand up, exhale, release the right foot down. Bring the hands to the hips, take your inhale to lift the chest, and then exhale, step on palms, toes to wrists, pada astasana, and fold for five. Release shoulders, four, breathe full, three, two, one, plant the palms, draw the knees to the upper outer arms, find your crow pose for five. Keep breathing, four, do your best, three, two, step or jump back, one, Chaturanga Dandasana. Full inhale to up dog or cobra. Full exhale to downward facing dog. Gaze, wayward knees, bend, walk, step, or jump through to a seat. Legs are long out in front of you, feet squeeze together. Take your inhale to lift the arms overhead and then exhale, fold for five. Chest draws toward the shins, four. Release the glutes, three. Do your best, two. One, take your inhale to look up. Exhale, bring the sole of the right foot into the left inner thigh. The knee splays open. Take your inhale to lift the arms, and then exhale, fold, catch a shin ankle or foot of the left leg, engage the left quad for five. Forehead to shin, four, keep breathing, three, two, one. Take your inhale to look up, lengthen, exhale, release. Draw the right knee up to point toward the ceiling, right hand comes behind the right hip. Inhale the left hand high, and then exhale, twist. Left arm comes in front of the right leg, or if you'd like to, you can hug that right knee in from Reichi C. Hold for five. Gaze over right shoulder, four. Keep breathing, three, two, one. Inhale back to center, listen here. Exhale, plant the palms, step or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana, do your best. Full inhale to upward facing dog or cobra. Full exhale to downward facing dog. 
Gaze forward, knees bend, walk, step, or jump through to a seat. In, keep your legs out long in front of you. Take your inhale to lift the arms, and then exhale forward, fold. This time, reach for the big toes. Hold here for five. Work toward engaging the quads. Four. Breathe fuller. Three. Two. One. Take your inhale to look up, lengthen. Exhale, release, bring the left sole of the left foot into the right inner thigh. Inhale the arms overhead, and then exhale, fold for Janu Sriyasana for five. Keep breathing. Four, forehead to shin. Three, lift the right hip. Two, one. Inhale to look up, lengthen. Exhale, release. Draw the right knee to point up toward the ceiling. Left hand comes behind the left hip. Inhale the right arm high, and then exhale, twist, Marichi C, or you can hug that left knee in for five. Keep breathing, four, you know it's coming this time, three, two, one. Plant the palms, maybe on blocks, maybe on the mat. Try to jump through, find your Chaturanga Dandasana. Full inhale to up dog or cobra. Full exhale to downward facing dog. Gaze forward, knees bend, walk, step, or jump through to a seat. Bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide for Bodha Konasana. Take your inhale to lift your chest, and then exhale, fold. Maybe hold on to both feet for five. Release shoulders, four. Navel back, three. Do your best, two. One, plant the palms on the floor or on the mat. Pick yourself up, Chaturanga Dandasana, do your best. Full inhale to up dog or cobra. Full exhale to downward facing dog. Gaze forward, knees bend, walk, step, or float through to a seat. We're almost done. Keep your knees pointing up toward the ceiling, feet plant down into the earth. Bring your hands behind your thighs. On your inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, rock the torso back, lift the heels, find your boat pose. Option to extend the arms. Hold here for five. Breathe full for four. Keep breathing. Three. You can do it. Two. Straighten out the arms and legs in one. Hold for five. Breathe for four. Last time. Three. Two. One. Plant the palms on the mat or on, the, or on your blocks. Pick yourself up and Chaturanga Dandasana last time. Full inhale to up dog or cobra. Full exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward high plank. Exhale, drop the forearms, forearm plank for five. Keep breathing, four. Navel higher, three. Hips rock under, two. One, walk the toes toward the elbows. Find your dolphin pose for five. Press down through the forearms, four. Chest closer to the thighs, three. Hips higher, two. One, lift up to your high plank, Chaturanga Dandasana to your belly. Keep the hands under the shoulders. Squeeze the elbows in. Peel up the head, neck, and chest for baby cobra for five. Keep breathing. Four. Three. We're almost done. Two. One. Exhale. Lower down. Extend the arms long beside you. Palms face up. On your next inhale, lift the arms, legs, head, neck, and chest for Shalabhasana. Locust pose for five. Long spine. Four. Engage the quads. Three. Toes touch. Two. One, exhale, lower down. Bend the knees and kick the toes toward the glutes. Draw the knees toward one another here. Toes touch, eventually the knees touch. On your inhale, lift your arms, reaching for your feet. Option to stay here or to hold on to the feet or ankles and lift the knees for full boat pose. Hold for five. Keep breathing. Four. Keep. Three. Two. One, exhale, lower down. Plant the palms under the shoulders. Tuck the toes. On your inhale, lift to high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Full inhale to up dog or cobra. Full exhale to downward facing dog. Gaze forward, knees bend, walk step or jump through to a seat. And then recline onto your back for bridge or upward facing bow. Bend the knees, plant the, the feet 
And on your inhale, lift the hips to knee height if you're going for bridge pose, walking the shoulders underneath you and clasping the palms behind the low back. If you'd like to take upward facing bow with the hands behind the shoulders, you're welcome to. Hold for five. Do your best. Four. Three. Two. One. Exhale, lower down. Rock the knees from left to right. Take a full inhale. Exhale, prepare. Again, inhale, lift up for five. Keep breathing. Four. Three. Two. One. Exhale, lower down. Rock the knees from left to right last time. Take your exhale. Inhale, lift up for five. Keep breathing. Four. Three. Two. One. Exhale, lower down. Roll the hips up over the shoulders or take your legs up a wall pose with the block underneath the hips. Find shoulder stand if you'd like to, pressing the palms into the low back, toes coming up above the shoulders. Press them away from the face here. Hold for five. Engage the quads. Engage the calves. Squeeze the legs together. Engage the abdominals. Four. Gaze to navel. Three. Keep breathing. Two. And one. Plow pose. Drop the toes beyond the face. Keep the hands on the low back unless the toes touch. Hold for five. Keep breathing. Four. Three. Two. And one, soften the knees to the outer edges of the face for ear pressure pose. Hold for three, for two, and one, roll out. Go ahead and plant the feet on the mat. Draw the right ankle across the left thigh and find a nice easy figure four, keeping the head, neck, and chest down. Option to stay here or to rock the shape open toward the left, planting the right foot on the floor. Try to keep that knee pointed up toward the ceiling to get the most out of this twist and gaze toward the right thumb. Hold for three, two, one. Inhale back to center, switch it out, plant the right foot down, bring the left ankle across the right thigh. Stay here or twist the shape open, drawing the left foot down toward the mat, keeping the left knee pointed up toward the ceiling and gazing toward the left thumb for three, two, one. Inhale back to center, release the left foot down, release the legs long and the arms wide, draw the shoulder blades together, release the eyelids closed. Take a full inhale, fill the chest, feel the ribs expand, feel the belly expand. And a full exhale, feel the belly drop, ribs contract and chest fall. Again, inhale, chest rises, ribs expand, belly rises. Exhale, belly drops, ribs contract, chest falls. Again, inhale, chest, ribs, belly Exhale, belly, ribs, chest, savasana, final rest.
slowly begin to bring movement back into fingers and toes. Maybe draw circles with ankles and wrists. Reawaken the limbs. Reawaken the breath. When you're ready, stretch the arms long overhead as you stretch the toes down long in front. Take your inhale here and then exhale to your favorite side. The right side tends to be more restful, the left side more energizing. Take a moment to thank yourself for coming to your practice today, for using every breath, and for finding balance in your practice. When you're ready with as little effort as possible and eyes still closed, rock yourself up to a comfortable seat facing the front of the room. We'll inhale the hands to heart center and exhale to roll the shoulders back down and away. Loka samasta suki no pavantu. May beings everywhere be happy and be free. We bring our thumbs to third eye center, our seat of intuition, and bow forward to say namaste.